<laughs> um, my sexual awakening. Well, I guess it began when I was about 12. Um, and um, I, I, I awakened, nothing happened. Um, uh, there was nothing that could happen. Um, you have to realize that I woke up to sex uh, in a tremendously repressive era. Um, and um, uh, I, I didn't know anything. You know, from what I can gather from the other boys, you know, and they didn't know anything either. Um, and the girls, the girls were, the girls were uh, straitjacketed. You, you couldn't get near them. Uh, you could kiss a girl, you know, um, but you could you, and maybe you could even touch her. But that's that that, and you had to struggle for that. Uh, elaborate wrestling matches ensued, you know. Uh, so I was 12, 13, 14, 15, and that's my, that was my experience of sex, just what I described. Um, well, in, in my last year of high school, I had a girlfriend, Betty Rogo, her name was. Very sweet, pretty girl. Now dead. Um, and uh, I don't know what we did. We wrestled, you know. Um, um, and um, we panted. Um, and we secreted. <laughs> you know, but but no, we, we never had intercourse. It, it was out of the question. It wasn't in the cards. Um, and uh, but then I went off to college, and um, it was pretty much the same. Um, uh, I, I took out some girls who I found very pretty, um, and I, I, I wrestled with them. Um, and uh, Finally, I got a girlfriend in the last few years of college, and we became lovers. Um, and, I, and we learned with each other. We were clumsy, and then we were, not, we were less clumsy. Um, but it wasn't um, much to write home about, nor would I have written home about it. <laughs> um, The, the, the thing now we're in 1954, um, and this is this is what it was like in the in the 50s. Uh, maybe uh, not for everyone. Maybe there were some lucky lucky guys, you know, um, who had um, um, more vivid and varied experiences. But the, uh, I didn't. Um, I don't say this with any regret or remorse. Those were the that were just the rules of the, of the game. Uh, the, the girls, no, you couldn't go inside the girls' dormitory if you were a male. Uh, you couldn't bring a girl into your dormitory. You couldn't, you had to live in the dormitory. You couldn't have a car. Where was this, where was this thing supposed to take place? You know. Um, and um, it took place, something took place at the end of the night when you'd walk the girl back to the dormitory and there'd be all these couples uh, Vertical couples uh, in, 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 in each other's arms, doing the best they could do, standing up, clothed. Things have changed. Um, so that that's what the, the, the era was like. I wrote. I try to write about it in, in, in indignation. Um, I, when I wrote that book, I wanted to write about several things. One was having Korea hang over one's head when you were in college, the war, and the other was the, the social norms, which are so wildly different from the social norms today. Wildly different. Who'd have thunk it? 